Brown and Sharp Automatic Screw Machine Operator Training Program. Lesson number nine, recessing. Recessing is one of the many operations that can be performed on the Brown and Sharp Automatic Screw Machine. The purpose of recessing is to form inside grooves or for turning inside diameters of the part being produced. There are two types of recessing tool holders that can be used on the Brown and Sharp screw machine. The first type is a self-contained unit that mounts to the turret and operates off the lead cam. This type is advanced by the turret slide until the studs in the front of the fixture contact the machine. Any further movement of the fixture forward by the turret causes the recessing tool to move into the inside diameter of the part being formed. The sideways movement of the cutting tool causes the tool to cut the internal groove into the workpiece. The second type of recessing tool holder is called the swing type. This unit is more rigid and will hold closer tolerances than the self-contained unit. The swing type holder has two operating movements and requires the use of the lead cam and the front cross slide cam. The turret advances the cutting tool into the part to be formed. When the cutting tool has reached the correct location within the part, the front cross slide advances. A special riser block mounted under the form tool contacts the bump screw which pushes the cutting tool into the bar stock. This television training tape will give you the information needed to mount and adjust the swing type recessing tool holder. The setup begins by disengaging the stock feed mechanism by lifting the dog on the trip lever. Run the machine under power until the turret roller is at the start of the recess lobe on the lead cam. Stop the machine. Insert the tool holder into the turret. Visually align the tool holder in the turret and then tighten the clamp bolt securely. This is the eccentric bushing. When the spindle is rotating in the forward direction, the hole in the bushing should be towards the top of the fixture. With backward spindle rotation, the hole should be towards the bottom of the fixture. The recessing tool mounts into the bushing and will be held in place by a set screw which will pass through the hole in the side of the bushing. You can now insert the eccentric bushing and recess cutting tool into the holder and snug it down. Index the turret by hand to be sure the bump screw clears the cross slide riser block. Then crank the machine until the turret cam roller is on the top of the recess lobe of the lead cam. The recess lobe will have a short rise and a long dwell portion. The long dwell gives time for the cross slide to move the cutting tool in and out of the stock before the tool is pulled out by the turret. You can now set the location of cut. Measure from the edge of the cutoff blade to the tool. You must also center the tool. Use the cutoff blade as reference. The cutting edges of both tools should be parallel when the recess tool is properly centered. Lock the tool down securely once it is properly set. Engage the stock feed dog on the trip lever. Start the machine and stop it at the beginning of the recessing lobe on the cross slide cam. Using the turret hand lever, advance the tool towards the part. There may be times when the tool will not have enough clearance to enter the part. Sometimes the tool will be too far away from the part. You will use the arm locating screw to make these required adjustments. Loosen the locking nut and adjust the screw until the tool will enter the part with proper clearance.
Adjust the bump screw out until it almost contacts the riser block. Start the machine and stop it after the part has been cut off. You should have little or no recessing on the first part. Adjust the bump screw out slightly until the proper recess is achieved. This completes your television training tape on the recessing operation. You may watch this lesson as many times as you need. When you have finished, return to the operator booklet for your next step.